Hey, what's happening guys? I have something incredibly cool to share with you guys today. This is from the company called Browie. And this is the PNC600. It is a 600 uh, watt, about 700 watt, continuous 1200 watt um, max portable power station. And here is just what is incredibly cool about this. The solar panels are built in. <laughs> I love it because I've I've done reviews on a bunch of uh, portable power stations in the past, and they're all great. I mean, you know, you have a little box you carry around with you that gives you AC power wherever you want, DC power too. But you know, AC is what we're after, I guess. So anyway, the biggest problem with those things are. The portable solar panel pans that come with them, especially like the uh, 100, 200 watt panels, are they're huge, they're heavy. It's a lot to move. This thing here is a lot lighter. So this guy's weighing in at 10 and a half kilograms, which is what 23, 24 pounds somewhere in that area. You, you don't get the dog hair. You have to, you have to supply your own dog hair. But anyway, this thing. At 23 pounds, uh, let's see some specs here. The battery capacity is 614 and a half watt hours. The size on this is uh, 436 by 339 by 142 millimeters, 10 and a half kilograms. Certified UL, CE, FCC, ROHS, PSE, MEDI, and UN 38.3. Now on our output specifications, and we're gonna go into all this more, I'm just <clears throat> hitting over the uh, basics for you. We have uh, two DC outputs, 12-volt, 10, uh, 10 amp max. We have uh, two USB-A outputs, uh, all QC uh, compatible. We have a USB-C output, also QC compatible. AC output, rated output, 600 watt, 1200 watt peak. Sine wave output, 110 volts, 5.45 amps. And a car output with a 10 amp max. So let's take a look here at some of the uh, outputs. All right, now this thing, which is the size of like an early 1990s laptop, has all of our inputs and outputs and controls over here. And if we just kind of go like this and get us a, uh, we're looking about five and a half inches wide. So it's nice, it's, it's you know, the size of a uh, big briefcase, I guess, satchel. All right, so I'm going to come in a little bit closer here so you guys can see more or less what's going on. And we'll power it up just by hitting this button here. And you can see we are fully charged. And we'll find out under this nice little waterproof cover here, we have USB-C. And then we have our two USB-A. We have 18 watts, 65 watts on that USB-C. That is, that's really nice. Now down here, we have our DC outputs. We have an input, and then we have two outputs there. We have your basic um, cigarette lighter type output there. And a 110 volt uh, pure sine wave uh, outlet there. Now, my friend Jim was over yesterday. Hello, Snow. And... Uh, he said, well, it only has one. I said, don't worry about that because you can just hook it up to a uh, little power strip. I mean, you know, you, you don't want to exceed the output capabilities. But, yeah, I mean, in, in the ones that have two or three of these, they're all just paralleled together anyway. So it's no big deal. And the nice little rubber proof caps are very nice here. So if we want to power this up for AC, we can just hit the AC button there. And you see it's come alive, and now it's saying out AC, no watts out, 110 volts, and 60 hertz. So if we plug something into there, we'll get a little bit more information. All right, let's uh, let's add in a little something AC here. This is a uh, 24 volt, two amp output. So I will plug it in. 
and I don't know if you guys can see there. Yeah, the blue light has lit up. Now that's engaged, and you can see here we are pulling 34 watts at 110 volts, 60 hertz. I'm, I'm not sure if you can change that. Let me have a look. I don't see any controls that would allow you to change that, and this isn't a, a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi uh, enabled, so that's fine. Um, I'm sure it probably says 50 hertz in, you know, in Europe and, and whatnot. So, yeah, as you can see, it uh, does pretty good there. Next, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at our pure sine wave output here. Let me get that connected. All right, I've hooked up the scope probe there, as you can see. And if we swing up here. There you go. It's not bad. There is a little bit of choppiness to it, but it's solid. It's not bad. Yeah, it's off by a factor of 10 there. That is the oscilloscope. That is not the power bank. I just didn't switch it to times 10 mode. So yeah, that is looking pretty doggone good. All right, we take a quick look at the manual here it's very well written so here we have expected usage c600 outdoor portable power bank battery for any digital devices maximum power consumption is 700 watts not suitable for personal safety and relies heavily on electricity such as medical equipment nuclear facility equipment aviation equipment and spacecraft manufacturing well crap now i can't build my spaceship with this but It'll be all right anyway. So what I wanted to show you here is this is a uh, design award for 2022. There's the basic info that we went over at the beginning. You guys can pause these manual pages to get any you know, info that you need. So here you go. If you plug this into the adapter that it comes with, and we'll look at that in a minute, um, it'll completely charge in six hours. Now, when it goes to solar panels, you see DC 12 to 30 volt, 4.5 amp. They're not telling you how long because they don't know what kind of solar panels you have. You know, if you've got a giant uh, set of 200 watt solar panels, it's going to go a lot faster than if you're using the built-in panels. It'll charge from the car charger in 6 to 12 hours, and then you have our built-in solar panel again, not giving us any time. Here are some specs on what they expect you'll be able to get out of it. So it looks like the biggest thing here is a, a wall breaker, and it has a picture of a blender. So 250 watt hours. It'll run it for... Uh, 2.4 hours and then they've chosen some strange ways to make comparisons but okay battery protection mode battery specifications you'll notice it is a lithium iron phosphate 3500 cycles and after 3500 cycles it's still gonna have 80% of its capacity that's really nice we've got high low temperature protection low voltage over discharge overcharge overload short circuit and then you give you an idea of the battery inside there. What's included. Troubleshooting. Customer service. So, what is inside the package? Gives a nice little pack. And, of course, the manual was there. There's also this very nice kind of a, not a warranty card, but like a thank you card. I say it's not a warranty card because there was another one. Here we have uh, the their award. I don't know why they attached that, but okay. So here is the AC adapter it comes with. 
It is 24 volt at 5 amp, 120 watt adapter. It comes with one of these Sony Panasonic type figure eight cables. And your charging adapter. And then it also comes with a car charge adapter. And a DC to DC cable along with these so that you can hook up to just about anything that you could possibly imagine. And man, that's almost worth the price of admittance right there. So that is all very cool stuff. So there's a there's an old uh, news term called burying the lead. I've been burying the lead here. We've been talking about everything, you know, except what makes this such a great product. Because I've been saving it. That is what makes it such a great product. Hang on, we're going handheld here. Look at that. You can put that on a picnic table, put it outside, turn it to face the sun. It has a built-in stand. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. All right, so there's obviously too much to get into here in one short, simple little video. So I am going to spend the, the next few days learning about this. And we will come back with a full-on review sometime next week. So I'd like to thank Bowery for sending this out to us, free of charge for our consideration. No money exchanged hands, and I am free to say whatever I want about it. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.